They're nurturing boys to realize their full potential. Monfort doesn't just focus on academic performance. The school has a rich sporting tradition as well. Sports have always been hailed as opportunities for boys to pursue excellence in physical performance and to develop character. One of the events that is quite unique to Monfort Junior is our obstacle race. Uh, so we do it uh, once every three years and we had all the boys from young primary one all the way to the P6s going through a series of obstacles. Right? They have to climb, they have to crawl and do many things. Some had really a lot of difficulties and fears but they overcame it. Some by themselves but many because their friends were there with them. We were cheering them on, they said, hey, come let's go, I'll hold your hand. When you do things like this, you start to appreciate what sports is all about. That you're not in this alone, that there are always people with you. And having the sense of resilience, don't give up. Being a sportsman requires team spirit and humility. Team spirit because you got to work with everyone in your team. You don't choose your teammates. It's not really much of skill, it's more of chemistry. If you don't like this person, how are you going to communicate with him on the field? Imagine you have the ball. Then you need to throw to a guy that you don't like. Like, it doesn't feel right. You gotta have that bond. A strong sporting culture, a fiery fighting spirit, and a universal love for the game. These are all recurring themes in the 103-year-old Monfortian story. The school has a strong badminton tradition which dates back more than three decades. Monfortian's numerous achievements in this sport, including an impressive collection of trophies and medals, has earned the school niche status in this area. Till today, both Monfort Junior and Secondary's badminton teams remain a force to be reckoned with. But sportsmen are not born, they're made. Monfort Badminton's origins best encapsulates this. When we took over, we looked at each other and said, how are we going to start? I start watching games, international games, national games, and I'm asking myself, how come the players are so good? And I question myself, how are I going to make my players going to be like that? Able to stretch for the ball, able to jump for the ball, able to hit the direction I want, able so I could reflect and come up with a lot of uh, techniques of how to strengthen their legs, their hands, their wrists, the whole body and stamina. So we have to start from there. Yeah, she's correct. We even came up with our own little gadget, you know. I remember it was um, a handle, a wooden handle. Then there's a string. Then we tie our own brick there. Mm. So the, the pupils have to hold and then try to roll the string up. Then let the string go down again and roll it up. So that's how they can build their wrist strength. So there were no such thing in the market. We actually came up with something like that ourselves. Good job. Before the start of the game, I always say this to them. I say, when you play, first you win for yourself. Second, you try to win for your school. So with this uh, philosophy, it sort of enables them to move forward. Because the moment we let them into the court, they are on their own really. And I always tell them that when you win, you also try your very best not to win just over the score. When you lose, you lose like a gentleman. You lose well. That means you give the opponent a hard fight. If they are a good player, they train hard, they will be a good player for life. So even if they leave school, they can still play the sports leisurely and then also like keep it up with, with it when they are adults. So ultimately, it is learning to play the game well and then uh, play it for life. We started winning uh, around 1983. Then we, we know that it's achievable. So we just continue working what we were doing and we could do that for many, many years after that. The two teachers' perseverance and dedication to nurturing their badminton students definitely paid off. In 1995, their former students were part of the Montfort Secondary team that broke Anglo-Chinese Independent School's 19-year winning streak at the B-Division final and dethroned them as champions. It's the first time we yeah. broke a record. To us, because we were in charge, and then we, this is our players that we train from scratch. So therefore, it really means more to us. <laughs> Start with a high serve if you can. Okay, if you really, really not confident enough, all right, you use your own service. Monfort Badminton would continue to flourish in the 2000s. It was in this first decade of the new millennium that Monfort produced another gem, Derek Wong. Monfort helped me to grow as athlete by giving me a a unique schedule 
so that I can balance both my sports and my studies. After my school days, I actually went on to represent the national team. Yeah, that, that was where my badminton actually propelled and I went on to play in two Olympics. Derek would go on to win a silver medal for Singapore in the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. He was also a competitor and Singapore's flag bearer in the 2016 Olympics at Rio de Janeiro. These are the medals that I won in the Commonwealth Games. This is a bronze medal and this is the silver medal. So the bronze medal is a team for the team event. Then the silver medal is for my individual men's singles event. I had to win many of the higher ranked players in order to get this silver medal. Yeah. What pushed me through was I knew that I worked very hard. Definitely there were uh, obstacles, but uh, every day I tell myself that I'm training hard for a reason uh, and this is the reason why, why all the hard work has not gone to waste. Uh. Today, Monford Badminton is still going strong with a new generation of champions in the making. Whether it's in badminton or other sports, for decades, Monford has been committed to training determined and resilient sportsmen who are always part of a larger team. A team that's united and respectful of each other as they strive hard to achieve shared goals.